These little beauties, chilies, and we've got lots of them in this recipe. So I'm gonna make a classic Thai soup. So it's Tom Yum Gai. It's a spicy broth. It's surf and turf as well. We've got chicken in there, which we're gonna lightly poach in some chicken stock. So it's really juicy and tender. And then we're gonna make some prawn balls to go in our soup. So just to finish it off, it's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, and we are back in the cafe kitchen. We're making a spicy Thai soup, Mark. You're holding these up before. I was quite nervous. <laughs> so is that your main ingredient? Uh, probably, yeah. There's oh, more chilli no. than anything else in it. Oh, no. No, it's all right. It's not that spicy. Okay, cool. Well, I'm impressed with what we've got because this looks fresh, it looks flavoursome, and it looks fun to make. Yeah, and it's really easy as well. Right, so first job, I've just got some chicken stock. Yep. So I just brought it up to the boil in the pot, and I'm just going to get our chicken breasts, and I'm just going to pop them in. Okay. okay? So pop them in, and then I'm just going to let it come back up to the boil. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to turn it off. Put the lid on, and then you want to let it cool down for about 15 minutes, and then that's just going to gently poach the chicken. Oh, fascinating. Make it right now really nice and juicy. I've never poached a chicken before. I don't know why I don't, but clearly if you do it with the now. right ingredients, yeah, that's what I can now. I can say that afterwards. Okay, cool. So we'll just leave that to boil away. I'll keep yep. an eye on it for you. So when that comes up to the boil, yep. lid on, turn it off. Job done. Okay, nice. Right, and then and then we'll take the chicken out, let it rest, we'll just pick it down, and then we're gonna create the soup in that broth there. Mm. So you get an extra flavour from the chicken. Yum, yum. Right. In the meantime, we're gonna make a little uh, prawn balls. Okay. All right. right. Okay, so I've just got a little bit of uh, fish here. Yep. So this is gonna be the base of our mousse. Doesn't matter what fish, just any fish, you uh, yeah. white fish. Yeah. yeah, any fish, just some yep. white fish, uh, so that's fine. So just you know, trim up the bloodlines, any scales or any bones, get rid of those, and then just gonna roughly chop it, and it's just all gonna get blended. Okay. In the food processor, you know, Yum. if you catch some snapper, snapper's great. If you go and buy it, just buy some cheap, some terrakee. And are you going to blend it now? Uh, I'm going to make it blend it a little bit just to show right. you. So a little cool. bit of salt goes in there. Yeah. And then we blend. Nice. And then we're going to pop an egg in there as well. Ah, okay. So that's all going to go together. <laughs> that's so you do that just in case you get any shell in there and you can check <laughs> and then you can put it in. No, that's right. No, he said yeah. that before. <laughs> what? That's what you do. <laughs> Love it. Uh, All right. So, so ideally, you know, give it, <laughs> give it two or three minutes. Just get it nice and smooth. Yeah. And then we're going to flavour it and loosen down the, um, the, the fish mousse because it's going to be really strong now. Okay. And what's the that? protein's going to say? So we've coconut, got coconut cream. Oh, oh coconut cream. Okay. So notice I've taken mm. that out. Yeah. <laughs> nice work. So a little bit of coconut cream in there, and that's going to give us good flavour. Yeah. Okay. So, so you don't need to over process yeah. it. Another little splash there. We've got some uh, fish sauce as well. Just a little bit in. That's going to give us some flavour. Uh, and then I've got a little bit of vegetable oil. All right, so you, okay. so you don't have to add this in. You can add a bit more coconut if you want. But if you put a little bit of veg oil, it just keeps it really nice and moist mm. and not too firm. So there you go. Well, that was quick. Good work. All right, so that's basically the... Um, the mousse. Yeah, the basis of the mousse. And then we've got the prawns there, so we're just going to chop them by hand, pop them in the mousse. Uh, okay. We're going to put some chilli in there as well, a little bit of coriander, but you can put anything, any flavours you want in there as well. So we'll just keep it quite loose. Mm -hmm. Chicken's up to the boil. Yes, it is. So you want to turn it off? <laughs> you, we're going to put the lid on. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then we're going to turn it off. Yes, perfect. Cool. And it's just going to poach away nicely in yeah. that. Beautiful. Sorted. Okay, right. so now we've got the mixture. But by the way, everything goes at thecafe.co.nz if you need the recipes and the videos to see how to make this. Cool. And then, so we're just gonna we're just gonna chop the prawns up. Why don't you just throw the prawns in the in the processor? Well, I mean, you could if you want. If, well, if, chop if them you're up lazy. too much. Yeah. If okay. you if you keep blending it, then it's just gonna have all one texture. Right. So it's quite nice to just chop them. Nice little chunks in there. And we're gonna put some chili in there as well. And then when you actually eat the, the fish balls, you know, you'll get that texture of prawn. Mm, yeah. Mm. Okay. Fantastic. So you don't want to over whip this. So that's a really good consistency. Yep. So that's good. So get your prawns. Stir your prawns through. Right, stir them in. Yeah. And then some chilli. So, you know, as we're talking about chilies as well, you know, if you want it spicier, leave the seeds in. Okay. You know, <laughs> what, we'll are leave you, what are you going to do? <laughs> leave the seeds in. Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. You're it's a chef, it's classic. Well, it is. It's a spicy show as well, isn't it? <laughs> well, it is with you in it, Mark, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. OK. So a bit of chilli goes in there. A little bit of coriander as well. Yep. Just roughly chopped. Oh, it's Jesse's favourite coriander. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yay. Yay. More for everyone around here except for Jesse. <laughs> right, give that a good stir. <laughs> And a really good tip as well, give it a good stir and uh, just fry a little bit off as well and taste it so you get your seasoning right, you know? If you want a bit more salt, a bit more fish sauce, if you want some more depth of flavour, 
Put some uh, soy sauce in there as well. You can put kaffir lime in, garlic, anything you want in there. Le uh, lime zest. It's really good. You know, yeah, you can build looking, on this. Yeah, it's all looking fantastic and smelling incredible. We'll just leave everything poaching away here and we'll show you how to finish this off. And welcome back to the Cafe Kitchen. Soon we'll be heading over to the Harvey Norman Lounge to hear all about performing with superstars Beyonce, Chris Brown and Justin Bieber. That would actually be quite a handful. When we chat with the dancer and star of upcoming show K-pop night, Rena Che. Right now, though, we are with Mark. We are finishing off these prawn balls for our Tom Young Guy soup. Uh, so things are going well. Our chicken's just been poaching slowly here. All right, we'll check the it's chicken. Ready? You reckon it's ready? Might need an extra couple of minutes, but you just take it out. Yeah. And then, you know, if you just give it a prod, you know, you've got a nice little spring there. It's quite firm, so I reckon that's quite good, actually. Okay, you're so quite I'm just going to take that. it out. Yeah, good. So you can just let it cool down for another five minutes. When it's uh, cool enough to handle, we can start stripping it. If it's a little bit under, you know, we can just drop it in the soup last minute. Okay, nice. Right, so now we're going to get all the flavour in the soup. This right. what I said, just remind us, this was chicken stock. So you it's the just, chicken chi yep. just chicken stock, yep. and then that's just been uh, brought up or cooked the chicken breast in it, so it's nice. enhanced. It's almost like a double chicken yeah, stock. That's yeah, that's good. Right, so we want to get some flavour. So classic uh, Thai flavours. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got kaffir lime here. We've got some lemongrass. So this is the end of the lemongrass. So this is really good. So it's quite woody, um, mm. you know, on the very outside. So you want to take two or three layers down, and then you can chop it and put it in things if you want, if you're going to put it in the mousse. Okay. But the end bit is a really good bit to put in soups, right? Okay. So you just want to bash it, back of your knife. Yeah. And you're going to start releasing all those oils and all that flavour. Mm, I can smell it. Oh, Beautiful. yeah. Woo, that's good. So that goes in there. Right, we've got a bit of garlic as well. So obviously we're going to take that out and we're not going to serve that. Right. It's just to it's give just, it a, a bit of flavour. flavour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. But, but the rest of it will actually be in the soup. Nice. So I'm just going to slice the garlic really nice and thin. And then that's just going to poach in. So it's all very fast. It's already fast, sort of clean, tasty, aromatic. Um, food. Okay, cool. That's very impressive cutting, by the way. I, I might have to get a machine Sorry. to do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> a machine. A machine will get Mark round. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just cut up a whole lot of garlic for me, please. <laughs> just leave it in the bowl. So we're just going to do some slices of ginger, ginger. as well. So that's yep. just been peeled. That goes in. Right, some chilli. So I'm going to leave the seeds in again. Some, some nice uh, rounds of there. <laughs> Okay, nice. Chop that out. You can actually have a look at that chicken. Maybe sort of start sort of breaking it off and okay. tearing like little bits. Okay, cool. And we can just show and see what the uh, inside of that chicken's like. Okay. So. What do you reckon? So it's a little oh, warm? Yeah, no, I reckon that's, that's good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's nice and juicy. And you know, we're going to add it back to the hot soup. So, yeah. so it is going to sort of just finish Woo, off. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, and then kaffir lime leaves. So you've got a double leaf here, so you've got a really sort of tough bit down the centre of the leaf. Yep. So you just want to cut either side of that, okay. and then you're just left with the leaf. Right, and then you can just chop this up. So it's quite a textured leaf, so mm. it's not like coriander, right? so you need to do it nice and fine. Okay, yeah, you can see how fine that is on your screens right now. So it's a lot of uh, lot of knife skills there, but um, you know, if you haven't got any knife skills, just chuck it in the uh, food processor. Right, okay, cool. <laughs> That's a top tip for you. Okay, so this is coming up to the boil. Yeah, what do you want so to do? Just, keep uh, it boiling turn it, or not? Turn it down, we're just going to simmer turn it down. Turn it down, yeah, cool. We're going to simmer away. Yeah, so that goes in there. You know, I've got loads of spring onions. Mm. So this is smelling divine. If we had smell a vision, you would be in heaven right now. <laughs> okay, so that's boiling a bit too much. Turn it down, Mike. Wrong one. That's yeah, yeah so just uh, just simmer in. Okay. So, oh my god. <laughs> I know. How do you turn? How do you turn this down? <laughs> it's as down as it goes. All right, well, turn it off. I'll just turn it off. So obviously, if you want to impart like nice fresh flavours, you want to do it on a low heat. Yum. It needs to have heat in there, but have it mm. in a nice low heat. If you carry on boiling it, you'll lose all the flavours. So just the green part of the spring onion, I'm going to pop that in now. Yeah. And then just before we serve, I'm going to chop the green. The so that's the white part. And I'm going to chop the green part just before we serve and put that in with some fresh coriander as well. Okay. I've got a little bit of fish sauce as well. Fish sauce, yes. Just with some seasoning. Yep. Some fresh lime. Yeah. And there's a little pinch of sugar in there as well. Oh, yum. Okay, cool. So we still need and to pull a bit of the all chicken. Oh, we do. Yeah, we're going to pull the we'll chicken. Pull the chicken. And then all we're going to do, about two, three minutes out, dip your spoon. Yeah. In the uh, stock. Yeah. And then we're just going to put it into the prawn mousse. Like a nice oh, ball shape. Okay, right, like okay. And then you're going to drop them in. So we're going to poach them in the soup as well, and that's going to oh. give us extra flavour. So it's yeah. going to be packed full of flavour. Okay, good work. This is looking fantastic. I tell you what, we will be back very soon. <laughs> How you going with your soup? <laughs> yeah, it's good. The uh, prawn balls are poached. They're nice and firm. Chicken shredded. Just going to pop that back in. 
Yeah. A little bit of coriander in there. I can smell and it And the here. green of the spring onion. Give it a stir I mean. and serve it. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Thank you very much, Mark. Bring it over. Bring it over. And what are you doing on uh, Monday? Well, on Monday I've got a Vietnamese beef and cucumber salad. Oh, yum. yum. Also yum. sounds good. This looks amazing. If we had anything to eat it with, imagine oh, that. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, good yeah. work, Holly. Nice.